to the Wheel of the Year Tarot, the Letha edition, a new tag for you to join in with. So, hashtag the Wheel of the Year Tarot, the Letha edition. If Letha were a shelf of tarot decks, what would they be for you? At this point of the year, the sun is at its highest. We've had the longest day of the year. We've had Midsummer's Day. It's a transition where the horned god has fought the holly king and lost so we we're moving now from that longest day of the year into shorter days nature is in full abundance the union of the god and the goddess is full now the goddess is pregnant with child everything is in full flower full summer days what does that mean to you there are six categories for you to consider. We've got keywords of Letha, the nature of Letha, the colours of Letha, the animals of Letha. We've got the celebrations of Letha and getting personal with Letha. What does Letha mean to you? I want to know what your decks are in each of those categories. So for keywords for Letha, think abundance, think love, think union, think fire, think the sun, think flowers, think full blooming, think nature. Those are your keywords. Which deck sums up your keywords? Now, for me, I'm going with the keyword abundance. It has to be abundance. Every time I step out into my garden, I'm just surrounded with abundance. And for me, the deck that sums up the abundance, not only of the garden and nature, but also that abundant union between the god and the goddess is the art of love tarot. You've even got a sun featured within this fully flowering tree. You've got the butterfly on there as well. For me, this sums up many key words. So the art of love tarot, here are the backs. You can see the key words of union and abundance, sunshine, full flowering. It, I think if any deck gives you the idea of abundance, it's this deck. And also union as well, that union of the god and the goddess. They were in full union, they were together at this point in the wheel of the year. And um, it's just a, a beautiful deck with lots of trees in there there are butterflies there's sun it's just a a deck that really does feel like this abundant union with nature in full bloom so for my keywords it's the art of love tarot colors think greens think vast expanses of rich grass Think blues, think of the ocean, think of the sun and the fire of Letha. So golds and reds and yellows, you might want to go for that. For me, I'm going with the green and I'm choosing the green witch tarot for my colour to do with Letha. Not only because of the colour green, but because I think a lot of these cards, although they show different aspects of the wheel, a lot of these cards also feel like the abundant green of summer energy. I think let's ignore the backs because the backs just look very Christmassy. They look quite um, more Yule than anything. I don't like the backs of this deck because I don't think that the overriding energy of this deck is Yule. Although the Wheel of the Year really features in this deck and you can see aspects of the entire wheel, I think mostly the energy that I get from this deck is Letha. It's summer days. That's the energy I get with abundance and warmth and those long days of summer. I don't get Yule energy that the back suggests. I get energy like this from it. So you've got forests with trees full of leaves and there are daisies. It's a very green pagan deck, as of course the title of the deck would imply. But everything seems very abundant and sunny in this deck. You can see all aspects of the wheel in the world card. 
but then I think we head full into summer with the other cards. We do see the Holly King feature in here. And of course, the Holly King defeats the Horned God at this time of year, which marks the days beginning to get shorter. We also see the Green Man for the fall and we see the Horned God himself. So we've both got both the Horned God and the Holly King in this deck. So it really, really does feel like the energy of Letha but it's my deck that I choose for the colour correspondence and I've gone for the colour green. Nature at Letha. Nature is full flowering, full blooming. What deck sums up how nature feels to me at Letha? Having walked in the woods and feeling the woods go more and more secretive as the trees get their full canopy of leaves, the woodland becomes more magical for me. It's quieter, it's more secretive. And I feel like every time I walk into the woods, I'm walking into this deck at Letha, the forest of enchantment tarot. These really do make me think of the woods at this time of year. Like I say, they're a lot more secretive at this time of year. You've got um, a, a full canopy, of trees it, it, it's quieter in the woods at the moment it feels a little bit like like this it's very 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 green in the woods at the moment and um any sort of woodland green deck that feels secret and mystical and magical and makes me think of trees in full leaf it's this deck the forest of enchantment tarot which i absolutely adore of all the decks I've got, I think this is one of the decks that I just think holds magic. It's a real storyteller's deck. It's a real fairy tale deck. It's just pure magic. It really is. I really love it. It has a real fiery Letha energy to it. So that is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot, which links to the green aspect of Letha. Animals at Letha think bees, think butterflies, think horses in summer fields, think snakes going through the grasses, think of wrens and robins, all those garden birds. For me, I had to think about the bees, and the butterflies and I'm going with the chrysalis tarot. So for the animals I went for the bees and the butterflies. I could have gone for horses or I could have gone for snakes or robins or wrens but I went for the insects and the chrysalis tarot with its beehive even on the back of the box and its butterfly on the front is the deck that I've chosen for this. The backs are absolutely perfect. I think these are some of the most beautiful card backs in the whole of tarot. And also the rest of the deck is very yellow and very sunny, which is brilliant for this time of year. It, this is another real storytelling deck. It is a deck that makes me think of sunny days. Um, it's a deck that really does feel like it fits in with Letha energy. You've got bees in there and wheels set in nature. Sun card is absolutely beautiful and the world card is amazing too. You've got this almost like fairy butterfly figure but I think all the way through you can see the power of the sun throughout. You've got wrens, you've got butterflies, You've got sacred stones, which remind me of summer solstice celebrations at sacred sites. You've got fires. You've got beautiful cards set in nature for union. And the wren again. I just think this is such a perfect, perfect Letha deck. So for the animals of Letha, the glorious chrysalis tarot.
in the celebrations of Letha, I think most people, when they think of Letha, think of watching the sunrise and the sunset on the longest, sunniest day of the year. It brings into my mind fiery skies of sunsets, also a midsummer bonfire, throwing wishes into the fire at midsummer. And so I went with the fire element, fiery skies and fires to sit around. And for me, my Letha celebration deck is the Bonefire Tarot. I think the Bonefire Tarot is just perfect. The colours are incredibly vibrant throughout this deck. It's one of those decks where the colour palette really does scream vibrancy and full summer colour. And throughout you have these flames burning. It has quite a sort of tattooy vibe to it. It's one of the best Queen of Wands cards ever. I just, I just think it's a beautiful deck. You've got sunny skies, fires burning, another sunny sky. You've got sunsets, sunrises. And if that card doesn't sum up Letha, then I, I don't know what would. You've got an amazing Four of Wands card. I love that. You've got fruits. Again, fruit and vegetables are part of Letha. And flowers, roses, a beautiful Three of Cups card. Again, fruit, sunrises, a gorgeous Empress card. And flowers. So for celebrations of Letha, the fire element, I've picked the Bone Fire Tarot. And then finally, let's get personal. What does Letha actually make you think of in your own life? This might be more than one deck. For me, I've got two decks because Letha time is um, when I start taking the kids up to the caravan in Wales by the ocean. And a deck that I opened, the only deck so far that I've ever opened and reviewed at the caravan, which now is linked with my soul, with my caravan and walks on beaches is this one, the Gill Tarot. So at this time of year, I always start to think about using this deck. Um, here are the backs. Again, that's very literary, a full green tree, lots of colours on the back. But this is a deck that I um, opened up at my caravan by the ocean. And um, it will forever now remind me of the ocean you've got lots of flames as well in there it reminds me of being up at the caravan of summertime by the ocean um, my time in wales is very much linked to letha time and the summertime um, of course anybody who's ever been in a caravan when it starts to get cool will know that it is really tricky <laughs> in a caravan when you get out of these warm days. So for Letha Energy, and when I think of this time of year, my hand immediately starts twitching towards this deck because personally, I do link using this deck to popping it in my bag and driving up to the caravan in Wales. So, um, yeah, for personal reasons, this deck speaks to me of Letha. That's the Gill Tarot. Also, another celebration in the garden that I've had with the kids at this time of year is lighting fires. We've done private sessions through candles. We have thrown midsummer wishes into fires. And when I think about sitting round fires... I always think of this one, the Raven's Prophecy Tarot. It makes me think of my garden, fires in my garden and pink roses too. So for me, although the orange around the edge can sometimes give an autumnal feel, it also really fits in for me with Letha celebrations. So those, these are the backs and straight away you can see that fire, the fires, fires do feature 
within this deck and there's lanterns. This just reminds me of being out in the garden at night. You can see fires feature throughout. There are starry nights and it just reminds me of those late nights in the garden in the summer. My roses blooming and just nature in full leaf. It's the best Seven of Wands card in any deck I've ever seen and one of my all-time favourite Queen of Wands too. The Hermit is incredible. Now this deck also comes with a series of novels with it. Um, they were novels that I also read during the summer and uh, that Empress card is incredible. Um, so you've got plants growing up the vine. You've got gardening tools being used and these roses feature as well. So all of this, for me, the gardening and the books that I read, this just all makes me think of this time of year and Letha energy. I love this deck so much. I know that the orange edges also can give it an autumnal feel, but if you then look at the images, I think the images are way more Letha than any other time of year with the fire and the roses. Ah, oh, it's just wonderful. So for me, with my garden full of roses and the fires that I sometimes have at this time of year with the kids, this personally reminds me of Letha. And then I am going to throw in a category for any oracles as well that you feel really sum up Letha energy. If like me, you love oracle just as much as tarot, then let's open this one up. So my first oracle that I'm picking, I'm going to put two in, is this beautiful soul flower plant spirit oracle. These are the back. You've got two different types of backs. Actually, there's three there, isn't there? It's just it, this is flowers in full abundance. Um, it, flower decks and herb decks are definitely something that I'm moving towards as I begin to understand where my witchcraft path is taking me and where my own personal magic lies. This is pure Letha. This is the cards in full bloom, quite literally. So the Soulflower deck, a really, really strong Letha contender. And then my last deck in the Oracle category is in this lovely flower fairy bag. And this is the Language of Flowers Oracle. And again, this is another one that uses flowers that you've got the butterfly there but it uses flowers in full bloom you've even got a bee in that one um to give messages i again it's another deck that um i think i'm going to really love during this summer it's relatively new to me so i haven't really worked with it yet but it is certainly one that i'm looking forward to working with I think it is one that um, just sums up this time of year beautifully. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. A new hashtag. I'd love you to join in. I'll leave the hashtag below. It's Wheel of the Year Tarot Leader Edition. I will be doing one of these every Sabbath we hit now until we've done the whole year. Just thought it was a really nice way to try and hold on to those correspondences of the Wheel of the Year and to link them to one of our passions, Tarot. So it would be lovely if you would join in. Tag me if you do so I can find you. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.